There was once a king, very, very long ago. He was a king of a rather large realm. He was a very good king. He was a kind king. He was benevolent, and he did his job. But he wasn't all that smart, at least not in terms of long-term consequences. He was well enough when he was ruling his kingdom, but uh, in his personal life, he had a couple episodes. I will tell you about him. This king was named Midas. He was a Greek king thousands of years ago, back when Greece was a mighty land, but not unified as we think of it now. It was made up of many city-states, each with their own history, with their own focus. Midas was a king of one of these city-states, and this was a time when gods roamed the world. One day, a being wandered in to the kingdom and territory of King Midas. It was a satyr, half goat, half man, drunk, of course, collapsed onto a bush. When his servants brought the satyr before the king, the king recognized him immediately as one of the panoply of the god Dionysus. So he took care of him. He honored him. He held feasts, lavish feasts with entertainment and wine and music. And the satyr was very appreciative. And when he came to gather his cohort, so was the god Dionysus. And so he gave King Midas an offer to grant him any one wish that he made. And an offer like that from a god is very powerful. And this is where Midas's lack of foresight came into play. For you see, he asked a very powerful but very short-sighted wish. He wished for everything he touched to be turned to gold. Dionysus fought, and then he realized that he had made his, gave his word, so he granted King Midas this wish. And thus, everything Midas touched turned to gold. And this consequence didn't actually last as long as you might think. It was a very short-lived wish, in fact. It lasted only until Midas's next meal. Giddy from having turned several of his household objects into gold, Midas sat down to a grand feast, ready to fill his stomach, and as he bit down, his teeth chipped on a gold nugget in the shape of a carrot. Food is included in everything, Midas. So Midas went back to Dionysus, and he begged and he prayed to relinquish this gift. And Dionysus told him to go bathe in the local spring and wash away the gift and the magic of his golden touch. And to this very day, that spring has deposits of gold. Try to look it up. Maybe you can find out where the spring that Midas bathed in resides. This was but one story of a time Midas faced the consequences of a short-sighted decision he made regarding the gods. It wasn't the last. Perhaps we'll talk again of, again of, of him one day. Until then, have a good night.